As we take a look at the starting lineup for the Chapleton Maroons, first Javel Plunkett is in goal for Chapleton. In front of them are back for Shane Watson, Asani Ricketts, Dave Artwell, and Kevin Clark playing in the right side of the defence. Evan Taylor, Rashawn Rich, Aaron Elliott behind Ray Campbell on the left, Alex Gale on the right, Mark Lewis down the middle. Yeah, Mark Lewis, really talented striker, played for William Nibby in the Da Costa Cup. Last season scored a bucket load of goals, but of course Evan Taylor always a class act in that Chapleton Maroons midfield. Experienced national, former national player is Evan Taylor. As we take a look at the Dunn Beholden 11, Damian Hyatt between the sticks. Ricardo Thomas, Chevoy Watkins, Zakia Wilson, Okima Jones, the back four in the middle of the park. Brian Burkett, uh, Shaquille Powell, Nikoi Christian, and Stephen Williams, and up front, Ron Brown and uh, Peter McGregor. Number holding their usual 4 1 2 1 2 diamond formation, looking to play a lot of central passes and then break wide when possible. So where to begin well let's start from the first goal Watkin at the back post powering that heather, header past Plunkett and that's when it started Dumbby Holden were dominant in this game but they're actually level Chapleton not the cleanest hit from Mark Lewis, it was a good ball inside from Kevin Clark, who started this game at right back. Showing the attacking intent from the Chapter Maroons. But that was the last time that they would see parity. Yep, this one was hit ferociously. What a strike that was from Stephen Williams. Bang! Lou past the goalkeeper and he's going to remember that strike for a while we know that he had the power the power and the placement yes he loved that he really did but in the second half they went up another level and Brown well we've seen him do this before rewarded with a place in the starting lineup after getting two goals from off the bench last week he found the score sheet here. Surprising? No. What was a little bit surprising was the capitulation. And coming off the bench with his first and second touch, Carlington Blackwood. Delightful. Yeah, he's going to want to look at that one over and over again. Yeah, the first touch past Evan Taylor and then the flick over the keeper. Yep, it's all in the mind. Came off right after that though. Was injured. Hoping that he's fine. But they were split open time and time again. At the back post there was Burkett. It was an easy finish for him. The young Georgian converting from close range. His second of the season. Brown was everywhere. And then this. I cannot explain this to you. And to be fair, I'm not sure if Nicole Christian can. Straight red, he'll miss a few games. We may have seen the last of him this season, who knows. Through on goal, Williams getting a second. I think I've lost count. Applying the finish there. And uh, that was goal number six. But there would be one more because, well, Ron Brown wanted a hat-trick as well. And to be fair, he got, he wanted a second goal, I should say. And he got help from Stephen Williams, who had two goals himself, and Brown converted 
back-to-back -back games, back-to-back -back braces. And for Chapleton, back-to-back -back games conceding seven. Chapleton Maroons with 10 shots, one on target. Don't hold in. Look at that, 24 shots. 16 on target. Do you see two yellow cards issued, one red card to Dundee Holden, which they may just regret. Seven corner kicks in their favor, four more than the Chapleton Maroons, and they had the majority of the possession as well at 63%. William, today's man of the match, a splendid performance. How do you feel about your game firstly today? Well, it's a great game for me, you know, it's coming from the training ground. We know what is at stake, so I come out here and do what the coach asked me to do. That was it. Usually you strike them really well with your left foot today, it was with the right foot. Is that something you practice in training as well? Sure. I, I score most of my goal off my right foot and the best goal off my right foot, to be honest. Now Dumbolin are in the playoff spaces, you've emphatically won the game to get into those playoff spaces. You have a tough game next week, how are you feeling going into it? Well, we just take one game at a time. All we got to do is go back to the training ground and just put in the work and have a game plan for the next game. Last year, of course, you know, Dumbledore went to the finals. Is that something that you have your eye on again? Sure. <laughs> well, good luck, best of luck, and best of luck, as I said, next week. All right, thank you. Now, moving on to 